fellow engineers. And you, flick over to you. And, um, I have something to show you today. It is this thing. It is. It's nothing special. It's actually pretty simple, but, um, I don't remember seeing anything. Anyone, sorry, do it. So, this is a welding machine, and it's almost completely irrelevant to this video because what I want to show you is a principle of recursion or an infinite loop in Space Engineer. So, the same thing as you can do with the timers when you have a timer and you set the timer to trigger itself. Okay. So if you place a timer right here. Okay. And we go in timer control. Set the delay to let's see one second. And set up actions to trigger itself. So once we start this timer it is constantly running because it's triggering itself, so that is called a recursion. Or an infinite loop, if you want. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's both of these things. So this thing is an infinite loop. This is an infinite space rail. This thing you hear, you can see here, it is actually a projection. Even though it is compared blocks, they do look welded, but they are actually... Okay, never mind. So, what happens here is this is our base block. So, the block painted red is the last block from the base block, and it goes all the way down here. It has a projector which is protect, which is projecting. Sorry, to basically this spot from here all the way up to there, and up there you can see a projector block. And what that projector block does is it projects another one exactly the same as this one. whole tower pillar space rail however you want to call it so let's try and make this thing weld okay I'm going to increase thruster all right and hopefully this thing will start okay so we're moving Just do it all yourself, or you can just build something like this. So, where can you actually use this in space engines? Otherwise, other, sorry, other than being a cool thing, what can you do with this? Well, not a lot of stuff, but if you say you want to build yourself a conveyor system from Earth to the Moon. I bet you that would take you like a load and loads of time. So why wouldn't you just use something like this? Target the moon. So I'm not exactly sure that's moon, that might be Mars, but never mind. You wanna build a space rail to Mars? No problem. Just aim at the Mars, place the, the base of the space rail, place the space water on, and let it weld, let it do its thing. And that's it. So in, I don't know how many hours would it take, it's actually moving six kilometers per hour, so you guess it, it would take like, I don't know how, how much kilometer it is it but it's Mars, but it would take like a couple of days probably, but from Earth to the Moon, if Moon is like, say, not in real life, but in space it is, it's like 150 kilometers away it wouldn't be that hot, that bad it would actually be like 30 hours or so a little bit less 25 hours let's say so let's see what's happening here we 
slow down a bit. Okay. It's our rotor actually. You see the wheels that are placed on this side? They're actually probably kind of blocking this. Approaching this, so all of these blocks are projected, even though they look welded. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if this whole thing works. Come on! I need it to work, and it works. So it did what it had to do, and the whole thing is moving again. So. You can see the projector itself, so it would do this again and again and again. And that's it, guys. That's the thing I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed, and um, I'll see you again next time and very soon, guys. Also, be sure to check out the, pl the blog post on my blog, space-engineer.net, and enjoy.